Hey guys, Tony Gomez here, Geekster93. Um, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible, and um, basically I want to talk about, you know, in my opinion, what it takes to really play in the style of Stevie Ray, or if you want to do Stevie Ray covers or whatever. Uh, people always sort of overlook Stevie Ray Vaughan, not, not his playing, I mean everyone knows what a great player he was, but they kind of often just focus on the lead stuff, right, all the licks and all this, you know, all the cool stuff. But they leave out, you know, the other three things and get ready to talk about, right? And that is, you know, Stevie's percussiveness on guitar, uh, his rhythm playing, and um, his tone, right? What he's doing on the guitars, you know, on his guitars in you know, relation to messing with knobs and volume and all this stuff. You know, a lot of people just want to play the licks, play the licks, play the licks, right? That's the most important thing. Uh, but it's not, right? It's the whole some of its parts type of deal. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan was a whole package, right? Uh, not a lot of guitar players are that way, right? Some either focus on rhythm, lead, and that's about it. But you sometimes don't really see a lot of players who are really just groove oriented and just like Stevie, you know, he's real percussive, he, he plays lead and rhythm sort of at the same time, kind of, you know, that they're always sort of, you know, you know, raking their strings, right? Always a lot of palm muting, a lot of all that stuff, you know, so instead of hitting notes like, they'll go, you know, they'll really just attack the strings. And, uh, so that's one thing you gotta, you know, realize when trying to do Stevie stuff is you gotta do it all. Otherwise, it's gonna sound hokey. It's kind of like you know when you cook something. You know, if you if you're missing an ingredient, it's kind of like salt, right? If you've tasted something and it's I mean it's good, but it's missing salt or it's missing a seasoning or, or something like that. That's what kind of what it's like when you miss those topics. You know, I'm, I'm talking about right something sounds like it's missing and it kind of comes off as hokey sometimes right but uh, truthfully I mean Stevie you know he's a really just had a lot of stamina in his hands man you know and uh, John Mayer said it best in an interview you know he said that you know it, it, the, depending on the time of day and sort of energy in the room you know you can play like Stevie Ray Vaughan but only for a few seconds and then your hands cramp up right um, so that's one thing to sort of keep in mind. Uh, I mean, people can get close, but really, if I was going to give my opinion, I would say just sort of learn your own thing, right? I mean, take Stevie's influence and make your own style out of it, because there's only one Stevie Ray and there's only one you, right? Uh, and I started out doing all the Stevie stuff, right? So, but I changed my style because, you know, it was time for me to branch off and do that other stuff. But, I mean, if you want to do covers and all that stuff, yeah, it's fine too. But, you know. Anyways, this video, oh God, it is starting to get long. So let me just show you some stuff to, uh, well, just give you some tips on how to play like Stevie, I guess. Okay, first and foremost, um... You need a Strat, right? Which obviously, this is not a Stratomacaster. Uh, this is something totally different. But, got the, uh, god damn, what's it called? The neck humbugger split, so it's a single coil, single coil-ish sound. So, oh, and you need to tune your guitar to E flat, right? So it'll sound like this. So here's E, here's E flat. Stevie, but <laughs> you get it. 
So, what I mean by the percussiveness is, I see a lot of guys, you know, playing, uh, you know, uh, Pride and Joy. That's technically right, you're playing the right notes, but uh, there's no balls, right? There's no testosterone there. You, you have to... And that's another thing. They'll play it... That's right, but again, there's no hair on it. There's no, there's no balls, man. There's no sizzle on it. You have to really work on your. And uh, let me just sidetrack here. If you're, if you don't have very good groove, if you're just like a lead guy who likes to wank all over the place, and you have no groove chops or rhythm chops or just percussiveness, you know, if you haven't been playing much funk in your life. Um, you're not gonna pull out Stevie very well, right? You have to work on being rhythm oriented, okay? Stevie's music or Stevie's style is very rhythm oriented. It's that blues rocky uh, type of sound. So again, not, or not this. You have to really rake the strings and be, especially, you know, Stevie was in a trio, so he had to fill up that space, so it's, you know you're supposed to go. And you can see I'm not really that good at it either, but oh, it's been a while, okay. And I'm not really in tune. Anyway, that's not the point, okay? If you're gonna slam me on my tuning, then. I have uh, I can't help you. This is about the groove, damn it. So, oh, here's another one that's really hard to play. Yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt to do that. I haven't played all day. Okay, give me a break. I suck right now. I know, excuses. He's, he warmed up five hours ago. No. <laughs> um, but you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? It's all rhythm oriented. And uh, another thing is here, right? If you watch Stevie Ray Vaughan play, he doesn't have, he's not just complacent, right? He He's always fidgeting around with knobs and volume and all this, you know, you never, he's like Jeff Beck, right? He, Jeff Beck, you'll always see him fidgeting with knobs as well. Stevie's the same way. Um, and that's how he gets all the tones uh, that he's known for. You know, all the little nuance and stuff. Because if you just plug your Strat in and, you know, nick, pick up everything on 10, kick on the Tube Screamer, yeah, you're going to get quasi-close and it's going to sound... Well, it's going to sound like a Fender sound, right? Fender amp, Fender guitar, neck pickup, of course, it's going to have a fender -y tone. But it's, and it's going to sound like Stevie, but you, you got to mess with your knobs. you really got to, you know, start paying attention to those kind of things. Uh, an example is, you know, again, Pride and Joy, you know, when he does the solo. Right, you'll notice how I quickly switch to the bridge, you know. And he plays with his fingers a lot, right? So instead of going with the pick, he's going really popping that E string. And then he will sort of flick it back, you know? So again, anyway, you get my drift, but you hear how it sounds, right? So here's without doing it, and here's with it, right? There's this little, like, uh, this top end that comes through. And uh, if you wonder how he did that, well, it's this. It's messing with the, with the, with the um, pickup selector, okay? And so there you go. 
that's I know this video went on for a long time but that's just sort of to give you some tips on how to do Stevie's style um, and you gotta you gotta really play your guitar you really gotta dig in you can't tiptoe through the tulips with this shit you know you really gotta <laughs> strings need changing. Right, you see how I'm really digging in instead of going strings man same thing with um, oh this one Watch some Stevie videos and all that jazz to sort of give you an idea. So I hope this has been helpful, and um, I think I know what I'm talking about because <laughs> I played Stevie for fucking let me see, I don't know, five years just learning how to play that stuff when I was learning how to play guitar. So I think I know what I'm doing when it comes to Stevie. Maybe not. So hope you found this video helpful. Uh, see you in the next one uh, later. Later, Gator.